tonight is the seventh annual Asamoa Foundation event. The Asamoa Foundation is all about giving back. And the Asamoa Foundation through the Owing, which is the orphans and widows in need, and um, the ACT, which is the Asamoa College Tours for students. is not only helping people in America, they're extending their help to Africa, Nigeria in particular. And they're helping a lot of people, orphans and widows, a whole combination of individuals coming together from all cultures to put heads together and see what we can do for our community here and communities abroad. Absolutely, so we have the Orphans and Widows in Need program. Uh, where we uh, help out orphans and widows in Nigeria. And then out here we do college tours, scholarships for high school students that are coming from underserved communities. It's just, it's just really remarkable how they go ahead and are able to do something in uh, two continents, in two parts of the world, and, um, and it's important to somebody like Nambi, who's very involved in it. And I love coming here because seeing Nambi as great as he is in the football field, meeting his entire family, you realize he's the slacker of the family. It's pretty funny. Well, it's definitely because um, I was one of those kids who made it out. Um, my story is quite interesting. Um, I had a humble beginning, and um, it makes sense to um, express my story with the mission of the Asama Foundation. I'm a big fan of people who use a celebrity for good and actually use a celebrity for good, you know, and I love what Nambi's doing, um, building you know, schools and just helping people in Africa. My family's from Africa, so I definitely relate, oh, you know, right? and, and I support, I think it's amazing. If people, you know, say that they're gonna donate money, help, and they just tell them to be the face of the situation. I love that he has his whole family involved and actually working. Uh, it was a dream that we didn't know how to be too long for, yeah. but um, it's becoming a reality, you know, and I expect everybody here today to be happy enjoy what you want to do, what you have come to do or what you have come to see. Yes, we do need support. And if we get it, that would be a plus. And that's what we are looking for. I want people to be happy so that when we reach out to the people that we are helping, it will be more blessings for everybody. It's about people making a difference. It's about people giving back. It's about people dedicating their lives like this guy to help out those who are not fortunate, who can't help out themselves. We took in a lot of families during the recession and we had this uh, very uh, special young man who came, uh, came to the mission with his family and uh, Namdi grabbed him up as one of his uh, young guys that he was going to mentor and took him to Washington DC and took him on tours and encouraged him and the young man, uh, he was a tailback on his football team. He was the school president of the student council and uh, He's now at uh, Loyola Marymount uh, doing extremely well and, and he's going to be quite a, quite a graduate of Loyola Marymount because of Namdi's involvement in his life. I was like, wow, I'm very shocked and awed how he gave back and uh, changed my life. And because of that, you know, he made me aware that education is important and um, also made me aware that community service is like, you got to do it as well. I'm happy to be a part of a bigger picture, which is the giving back whether it's to the students. I mentor in Atlanta oh, at three now. high schools, okay. and I try to give back. And even when I was teaching culinary arts, mm -hmm. I made sure to teach my students that they had to give back as well. I'm very passionate about the Asomora Foundation. And uh, for me, I, I look at it the, as the work of God. Okay. You know, we're just serving God through the Asomora Foundation, and I think that uh, that that explains why things go the way they are going. I just encourage everybody to get involved. Okay. Tell your friends about the Asomoga Foundation. Yes. Tell your family about the Asomoga Foundation. Right. I get a shout out to uh, UPS because as a company of over three, 300,000 people, these are the type of foundations and work, works that we like to do a lot of. Education, helping the youth, helping the uh, community. We always get back. It's, it's a once in a lifetime thing. All these new people, characters from different areas, it's a once in a lifetime chance. 
Yeah, I would definitely want to do it over and over again. I hope that they would see my face and know that I, like them, may not have been born with style or grace, but have a hope with which no one can contend. That I live to be my greatest self is the unique gift that I give. That others, like me, can see themselves in the reflection of beauty that within them lives. That every boy and girl, woman and man, would know in their depths that they are not a dream forgotten, a hope lost, a nameless space, a person without history, or story without trace, that they are seen with the eyes of the world. Yes, this is the dream of the African girl. Before they knew me in flesh and blood, they knew my spirit and prayed that the life I would live would embody their hopes that my legacy would live beyond the deepest grave. So when you see me, don't turn a blind eye to the reality of my travails, but see as I see my hope, my future, an inevitable power within me that will not fail. See possibilities, the endless heights that I can reach. Don't look at me with pity as if I'm a failure or the breach. Understand that I am not a dream deferred, but my dreams prefer to live in color and in real time. For I'm crafted by his design, the prayers of the ancestors thwarting every plan set up for my demise. This is the strength of the African girl. See with heart and determination who can break down the walls of fear that separates, create a world that celebrates the dreams that stir within each of us to share the stories that make us whole, make us human, make our dreams a reality that inspire us to hope, to live, to love, to laugh, to serve, to motivate, to change the world's great landscape. These are the dreams of the African girl. Give it up for Dr. Chisara Asamoa and Yeko one more time, please. So I, I'm going to kind of quiz you guys. Hopefully you guys are on your cues. How many of you guys know how many years we've been doing this for the Asimov Foundation? So, okay, I mean, it is the seventh annual. I mean, <laughs> cheaters, right? Cheaters. All right, look, I am so happy to be back here. Uh, the Asimov Foundation has been doing some great things. Uh, we're talking about the combination of orphans, widows in need, and the Axe Foundation. Putting together, bringing this organization to making the Asimov Foundation. And they have serviced over 5,000 kids. And when you look at the eyes of the kids who've been serviced, you know that service matters. And that's tonight's theme. Tonight's theme is service matters. Um, you know, I, I, I joined, I came on board probably about seven years, actually seven years ago, six, seven years ago. And I, I just remember being with the Oakland Raiders and Namdi telling me about this special thing that was going on. And, and sometimes you think to yourself, like, how can I be a part of something special, something bigger than me? And when he told me about what he was doing and the orphans in, in South, uh, excuse me, in Sub-Sahara Africa, I knew, I said, man, I'm from Africa. I said, I should be doing something. I wanted to be a part of it. So I joined on. And you guys have been such an instrumental part of this foundation growing. Uh, your, your gifts, your donation. And we want to continue, continue to ask you guys to absolutely give because service matters. Uh, it, it is my pleasure. To, and there's a long list, and I'm not sure that I'm actually going to read through this, but I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to introduce the master of ceremony. He is the host of the Emmy-nominated NFL Game Day Morning. Uh, he is the, oh, forget it. You, if you guys were here last year, you know him. If you watch TV ever, you know this man. He is Mr. Rich Eisman, master of ceremony. Hello, everybody. I'd like, I'd like to step out again and get a better round of applause, and then I gotta be very honest with you. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to give it up from the left to the right. Give it up for Mr. Rich 
Eisman. Why, thank you. You can see I have no shame to come to an event like this and make it about myself right off the bat. I have no shame. Uh, welcome to the Asimov Foundation annual fundraiser. You are in a great room. You're in a great room of people. It's a terrific foundation and organization for you to spend your time, spend your dollars, spend your energy, spend your love with. Uh, as you see, it is a family affair here. Um, and it is not any surprise that this focuses on education and community and family. And part of the reason why I come here is it's perhaps the only place where a multiple-time Pro Bowler and star in Namdi Asamoa is the slacker of the family. Is, I mean, seriously. He's the only person who's not a doctor or anything like that. It's pretty, it's pretty fun to, to watch. And uh, before, we, before we bring up most of the members of the family here, uh, I also want to celebrate uh, what has happened to Namdi on the football field in most recent days. It was, I believe, the biggest celebration of freedom in Philadelphia since 1776. <laughs> Namdi is now back in the state of California in the Bay Area where he belongs. <laughs> and it's funny that I, I dressed in Niners colors for him and he's dressed like he's a Raider still. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. It's silver and white. It's red. You got to get a splash of red there, Namdi. I got to be honest with you. Moving forward, that's what you'll do. But you'll see again tonight with the performances and the kids and the stories that you will hear about how this foundation.